Hello, I'm Alex Lepkes from Audio Technica and we're here at the Pro Lighting Sound 2018 and I'm holding here our newest baby that we're going to show and present on this show. A new headphone which is the ATH M60X, the smaller brother if you like from the M50X, the family, famous reclaimed model that we launched a couple of years ago and which reached the highest Olymp of monitor headphones. So what did we do with this M60 headphone? What's so special about it? And the first thing you see is the form factor. It's basically an on-ear design with the same driver inside of the M50X. So tonality-wise you get the sound quality of the M50X, but the design is significantly smaller and more slick and an on-ear design. Now the challenge with on-ear designs is usually that you want to have a good sound isolation, so you don't want to have uh, ambient noise coming into your ears while at the same time the wearing comfort is very important. So to challenge this and to solve this challenge basically we try to use a very comfortable foam on this ear uh, phone and this is, uh, if you see this, is a memory foam which, which is very cozy and it's very thick in comparison to some competitive models for very long wearing hours so you can wear that basically for, for half a day easily without any bleeding on the ear or any heat exposure which you usually get. So, as you see, uh, slick design, very good. You get the sound quality of the M50X easily and uh, it will be available later this summer from Audio Technica. Connected to the M60X, we launched at the same time a new family of BPHS2 headsets for broadcasters. We have actually three different models. This one is showing the uh, stereo headset with a dynamic microphone. We have another version with the condenser microphone here in the background. And then on the other hand here, we have the single ear version with dynamic microphone. Now based on the M60X design of the headphones, we added a broadcast ready microphone on a boom uh, to be used by on-air talents and on-screen talents. Another reason why we choose the on-ear design for the headphone, because these talents has to be on screen at the same time in front of the, uh, sorry, prior to the show, a football game, a Formula One race cup. So they wanna, don't want to have a bulky headset around their ears with lots of metal frames around their face. It should look slick and elegant and that was one of the design targets of this headset which I think we achieved very well. Um, not to forget to mention the broadcast ready sound quality of the microphones because that microphone will be heard by millions of people out there at the, the site so it has to have a studio quality sound level, uh, quality level basically. Otherwise, uh, people couldn't use that on TV straight away. It's not a communication headset. It's mainly and purposely intentionally made for on-air broadcast announcements. And are these available now? Uh, same schedule as the M60s. We will have them later this summer available. So what else new have you got in the show? We have new wireless systems, which are at the other edge of the booth. So let's, have, let's go see. get a look there. So here we have the 3000 series wireless containing of a body pack transmitter which we see here. Our receiver, single channel rack mountable. And here in my hand I'm holding the new handheld microphone version of the 3000 series. So the 3000 series is trying to answer a need and a demand from the market of today's RF environment. So the radio frequency environment changed drastically in the last 10 years. We lost a lot of spectrum, which went to mobile um, phone applications. So the remaining spectrum is now cramped and, and cluttered with digital TV channels and, of course, us, the users of wireless microphones. So we tried to find a solution, a countermeasure for that situation by actually applying a brute force scheme we made the tuning bandwidth of the receiver 60 megahertz wide and of the receiver a transmitter of course as well. So with 60 megahertz of tuning bandwidth, which is basically 40% more than you get from any competitive model at this price point, you have more chances to find your specific frequency window where you might plug in your frequencies. But that alone will not make you secure enough in today's environment because what hap usually happens you just found your good nice spot but then during the show by sudden somebody pops up with another transmitter backstage and just fires up on your frequency and for that what well, the technica invented this little button here on 
the bottom of the handheld transmitter, there's another button right on top of the body pack, which you can see right here. And this multifunction button can be programmed in the system in a way that you provide a backup frequency on the system. And that works in the following way. During the concert you might experience, or during your presentation, you experience some issues on your radio frequency. By sudden somebody pops up and it starts sounding bad. So what you do is, you push and hold the button for a second, and then the display will say, sorry, switch to a backup frequency. And then later on, your receiver says, switching to backup frequency. Do this again, so we can see this happening. It takes a moment because I didn't switch the button right. Now I switched the button now. You wait two seconds and then it says switching to backup frequency. The receiver and the transmitter switch immediately within a couple of seconds to this backup frequency which you formally agreed on and you can continue with your show without the need to go back to the receiver, start reprogramming, then syncing with the transmitter, going back to stage which is a huge annoying. And if you consider that one in an installation system where it would be maybe even locked down in a, in a room next door, you need to kick in the door which is highly inconvenient so hence this button comes in pretty handy. So that's our latest edition, the 3000 series from Audio Technica here at the show. But beside that one, of course, we have charging contacts. So once done, you plug it in there, it switches off automatically, nothing else to do for you. And when you grab it out, it's already charged and operating straight away. And available now? Available in roughly six weeks from now. It's on the boat. We just dispatched them today uh, in Japan and shipping them over to Europe and then we unpack them, get them to customs and everything and make them ready to ship to our customers. Latest, I would say, beginning of June, we should be there. Uh, one more thing, I saw a blue colored pair of headphones which I haven't seen before there. What's, what's that out about? Okay. Limited edition? Let's, let's try that, yes. Sorry? This is our, this year's limited edition of the M50X, our famous headphone. And as we, we did that for a few years now, every, every year we pick a specific color. And this year, the 2018 edition will be blue and black. It's a kind of a metal, metallic blue, which is really nice in the finish. And uh, actually, I think it's one of my favorites. I pretty much get me a pair just for private use. But please be quick, we only have 4,000 pieces of that one produced. So it's really a limited edition. Better be quick if you want to have one they usually get pretty expensive after a couple of years. So it's a good investment. Beside that, they sound really good.